Hello everybody, this is Ruth here, and this is Shout Out Sunday, number 25, and other stuff. Well, uh, f first of all, I'm just going to say I'm, I will have a sale going up on my Instagram, so do check it out. My Instagram is in the link below. I think it's under the follow me section in the description box. It's kind of a bit down there, but if you scroll down, you'll get there <laughs> eventually. Um... So let's get up to these uh, shoutouts. So first off, we have James TCG, which his uh, Instagram is also in the link below. It's uh, underscore t TCG07. So uh, let's see, uh, Pokemon Square, uh, Pokecard X, which has been commenting a whole lot, so thank you. Uh, Dark Magician 81 which he has loads of cool like little mini giveaways and a big giveaway on his channel. And it's mainly Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But that's good stuff, too. Um, I lost my list. Okay, Spars Hunters. Yes, that's the next one. Then Little Dream. And she does have an Instagram, too. But I don't know if I linked it below, though. Um, Parks and Rec. Uh, Wing Dragon of Raw. Wingtube. Uh, YR Pokétuber. So is it supposed to be? Because like that's like the shorthand for year. So I don't, I don't know. Um, Pokey Tat. Now for the next bit. Um, from what I bought from, well, it's not really recently anymore, but it's it's taken its time to come. Um, Kanto underscore native, and Pokemon. I mean blah blah. I can't read. Mewtwo Pokemon. So. P-K-M-N, which is her Instagram, but obviously it's just YouTube for her YouTube account. She does very lovely videos, and did a face reveal recently. Um, we'll be doing a giveaway when she reaches a certain number of subscribers, and I have done trades with her and bought from her as well. And she's very nice. Go check out her channel. Um... It's a hill. Um, I won something from him, I believe, which was the video's already up of that, so do check it out. Um, yes, I think that's it. Because there are some other people I have bought from, but their videos of that won't be going up until later, so I try and keep the shoutouts related to what I've already posted, so it makes sense. Um, well, I guess I can, I'll do this shout out thing again, because the cutoff date is the 31st of December, and it's not the 31st yet, so you still have time to get some. Uh, it's the Lumos exclusive Newt's Commander pin, so that's, uh, obviously done, uh, by the, uh, Lumos charity. That, um, website is in the link below. It's available for those living in the UK, US, Europe, and Canada. They also have a uh, eBay version where they sell it too, I think. But um, the order here link is in the description below as well. For I think about seven ninety nine or something like that. Pounds. Um, so yes, if you wish to have a shout out, please you know, either ask me one for in a comment in this video, or comment twice, at least twice, in any video from now into the next shoutout video, which I think should be the 30th. So I'm just going to say an early Merry Christmas to everybody. Like, very, very, very early, because today is the 16th, and it's like, is it next week? Or is it the week after? Um... Yes, the week after, on Tuesday is the 25th. So we still have seven, eight, nine days to go. Hmm. Anyway, on my, um, just a little something else. Wait, wait, let me finish this first. I can shout out any, uh, channel or other social media. Just give me the link, like in the email below, or type in, or you put your own link on it, on a comment, and I'll... 
I'll try and approve it, um, the day. Oh, by the way, if you are wondering, I do approve, like, I leave the comments on to approve so I can actually take note of who's commented. So, I know who, uh, who to put on my list for shoutouts. So, I try to get to it. Sometimes I totally forget about it, but I do get to it. And I do reply to everybody. I heart all of them that I read as well. If I don't reply, though I mainly reply. But, um, yes. Man, what was I going to say before? My mind is going. Or do I have it? Um, let's see. The... We'll go for this first. The Aki Bento theme, which I am not getting. Well, right now, anyway, it's three days left, anyway, to buy it. But it is Courage. And they have Naruto, My Hero Academia, a certain scientific railgun, and the High School of the Dead. So, out of all those, I only really watched Naruto. So, I didn't really justify in getting it. Then, for the... I, I'm currently looking it up as we go along because... I totally did not think this through. Um, so I'm waiting for the page to load. And it's taking its time. The little things get in the way. Okay. So. Ooh. The loot crate thing has like little Christmas lights on its logo. Uh, anyway, that's totally irrelevant. <laughs> oh, it's got a, a Geekmas flash sale. 50% off select crates with code Yeti. Which is Y... E T I fifty. Um, you look at their website for details. Um, it's getting there. It's loading. It's still loading. Well, anyway, um, while it's loading, I could just go back to my uh, Instagram sale. It will be Pokemon cards. I do have some. Up on my eBay, the when I put the sale up, I'll temporarily take those down so I can see if I can sell them on Instagram, which will actually be totally, totally cheaper. Because eBay, you have to count, like, you know, all of those other, like, prices eBay takes off and, you know, stuff. So, obviously, it will be international, like, internationally sellable. Though, what I sell will probably arrive after Christmas, or be sent off after Christmas. Because, well, yeah. Or you can send it off before Christmas, and you get it after Christmas anyway. That could work too. Um, so I will put up a, uh... Well, I did just sort of uh, put up a price, like list, like conversion list, so it's easy for people to actually see like what they're paying, like the conversion rate between it. Because the highest on the conversion rate table that I made would be about maybe seven or six dollars. So it's quite cheap. I think the term is dirt cheap really, but you know. Um, let's see. The Wizarding World box should be interesting. Because the one that's coming is, as I said last time, is travel. Yes, traveling the Wizarding World. Which is still the same as last time. It was either in the sh last time shout out or it was in the actual loot crate opening, which you should watch. Um, and then I have to really rack my brain around. Um, the 3rd of January is the cutoff time for when you buy it. 9 p.m. PT. Yeah, because sometimes I get really confused sometimes because like, you know, US dates, you got the day. You got the month, then the day, then for the UK, you got the day, then the month, when you write it in numbers. So, I gotta make sure I got the right run around there, but it should be nice. Um, okay, so obviously, I'm st 
still getting a that uh, loot crate wizard world crate thingy. And let's see. There's no other other there's no other subscription box that I do at the moment. I still need to find a good Pokemon one. I do like the idea of the rare candy box, but the shipping would not really be worth it because like the shipping might be more than the actual box and when I buy things I tend to try and not buy things that have a shipping that's higher than the actual product because that is a little bit ridiculous for me which is unfortunate because I really want one but it's just not happening unfortunately um did I have to say anything else? I don't think there was anything else to say, was there? Um, well, oh yes, if you're interested, not that it's particularly interesting, but for a uh, Instagram thing this year, I decided to do a uh, like Christmas countdown thingy. So one picture or two per day for a uh, you know, Christmas countdown thing. So I try to keep the pictures um, Christmas related. So some of them aren't really Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything related. Like um, I put up a Christmas tree picture. Um, I put up some, well, I will put up some Christmas crackers tomorrow. Um, then I've got something that I have sewed up there and I've got, you know, Plushies, cards, and there will be a snow thing. A snow thing. Yes, that, that makes total sense. It looks like a bear. I'm not really sure what it is. It can be a bear. Um, my sister made it in the snow in um, January 2013. Yes, I I keep dates on my uh, pictures so I know when I, when I took them. Anyway, it's a cute little bear thing. It's even got a scarf on it. Then there's Christmas stockings that are due. Something that I cross-stitched will be going up on the 21st. Something I drew will be on 24th along with some other past pictures. But yeah. It's not that I'm really spoiling it too much, I hope. If you're interested in looking. I mean, I post that to my Instagram, then I share it onto my Facebook so I don't have to post it twice and write the same thing twice because my fingers get lazy like that. Um, I don't think there's anything else, really. This is... Hmm. Well, I guess I could shout out something else. No, I can't really think of anything else to shout out, really. Although, do check out on Instagram. There are lo It's a very, very lovely Pokemon community. It's got loads of claim sales for like really cheap prices. Most of them are technically in US dollars. So if you convert it to pounds for me, it will be slightly cheaper, which is very, very nice. Um, oh yes, and I do apologize. I am a little late on some Pokemon products because I've been buying on Instagram a lot more. <laughs> so I do have the two Pokeball tin and Quickball tin that are coming out in the new year. I've got a Poke Hall Instagram video number seven that should be scheduled to uh, pop up. I've obviously got, I'm finishing off the uh, Harry Potter advent calendar, the Yu-Gi-Oh advent calendar. I'm wishing I got a chocolate one because I am kind of hungry. Um, but. Of course, for advent calendars, basic ones, you get chocolate. Yeah, I just got the toy ones. <laughs> um, but, you know, I still have that one of my stocking fillers filled with, like, that had some chocolate in it from last year. And I didn't even open it yet. <laughs> I hope the chocolate's okay. The chocolate should be fine. I'd still eat it anyway. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Unless I like, bits on it. Then I, like, chop that bit off. Then eat the rest. You know, that's how you do. That's like how you do it with cheese. You see the mold, you chop it off, and you eat the good parts. Though, technically blue cheese is moldy cheese, though, isn't it? Though, I think I might have tried that once. And it's... Just... I don't know why I'm talking about cheese. How did a shout-out get to talking about cheese? I have no idea. No clue. Well, there are... Well, anyway. Moving on. 
there are some other people that have giveaways and I forgot who you are, so I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm not very good at remembering things if I don't have it written down. Which would probably be obvious with the amount of time I'm rambling. Wow, it's 15 minutes. Okay, I will stop here. So, basic things, just uh, thank you everybody for commenting and... You know, I've seen some of you, or at least one of you, or someone, anyway, retweeted some of my videos. So that's very nice. And I know I said that we had a goal for the end of the year for 500 subs. Currently, I'm at 420, so I still got 2, 3, 4, 30. I mean, I suck at counting. I've got 30 to go to 450 for that 450 mini giveaway. So hype it up, people, if you want it to uh, arrive any quicker. It would be very lovely, but no pressure on anybody. Um, let's see. Just for a random shout out, go check out Edith and Evie and Bulbador. Those two are awesome. Um, who else? <laughs> um, Pokemon Pelago, I think. If that was the right one. I'm gonna now have to find out there. Uh, channel URLs, URLs and stick them at the end of this uh, description thing that I put in. Yes, if I forget, well, just look up their names. Huh? Yeah, but I should remember to. I'm still going to probably forget, so yeah. I mean, I'm only 24 and I forget loads of things. I mean, that's not very good for my prospects for the future, is it? Oh well. Oh, and just randomly like it'd be like a, a good idea but if you go to check chaos cards and check out their discontinued or damaged products normally their damaged products are basically the outer packaging that's damaged but they still sell it at a very low price which i got a chrome baby Groot for about nine pounds ish the only thing that was wrong was the crease on the top of the of the, the flappy lid part, but I'm not too fussed about that. They actually, I didn't get it, but they had a Char Mega Charizard um, figure. I don't know if it was an action figure, but it was a figure. I don't think it was a plush, but it was a figure, I'm pretty sure. And that was eight pounds. I forgot what the actual price was, but that, that's like a steal, but I don't really like Mega Charizard, that one, because I like the black one better because it looks way cooler. So I didn't really get the orange one, but yes, they only had one anyway. But that was eight pounds, so that was like a complete steal. Let's go check it out. They have all sorts of lovely what's the word? Sales and discounts and what have you. And they ship for like loads of places. And yeah, I mainly buy stuff, my sealed stuff from them anyway. Though I have heard some other places like what was it? Totalcards.net? It's a good place to buy stuff. And uh, Magic Madhouse. Mainly, though, I don't really actually use their site. I mainly just bought from them on eBay. But they do give out discount codes, too, when you buy on their eBay site as well. But I don't know if you only can put them in on their website or on their eBay site, too. No clue. Anyway. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I have this really just random-ish video. That I'm going to put in at the end of this. But um, it's basically me showing you my ridiculous um, like idea that I had when I was wrapping one of my presents for me from mom and my sister. Because it was like about 94 pounds. Or 95. 97. Or it was around 95 pounds. Because it was a uh, external hard drive. Uh, for TB, so I can, you know, put my YouTube stuff and other anime stuff on it. And with the amount of pictures I take of everything, it's to go for that too. But, um, yes. You know those huge, um, air packing pocket things? Those, like, really huge ones. Yeah, well, I got a, I got, like, a little ream of those. Well, not really a ream, but, you know, it was, it was in one of the packages I got. But it was, like, this, this maybe got, like, four four or so bubbles on it, or five, so I just wrapped it all in that, 
it was very tempting to bounce it, but, um, yes. I decided not to since, technically, it is a fragile object. So, it's just a little funny video I put at the end because why not, right? Because, well, yeah, why not? And, yeah. And, uh, I don't really do Christmas wrapping videos because, obviously, you know how to wrap your own Christmas presents. You don't need to see me do it. And, well, I need both my hands to do that and loads of space. And I already wrapped everything I had in my Christmas or in my present box to wrap box or you know what I'm saying. So I don't really wrap birthday presents because I don't have a birthday wrapping paper. I got sort of wrapping paper that looks like wallpaper that I managed to get somewhere, but I never really had birthday wrapping paper because mainly for our birthdays at home now, we just stick in the lovely box with a little, little bag that we get from like from other places that we had used, like pre-used stuff, you know. Or we wrap it in some brown packing paper if well, someone wants to unwrap something. But mainly we put it in a box or a bag. We don't really wrap birthday presents in this house anymore. Probably because everyone is over the age of 20 now, but still. Um, oh yes, and if you see on my Instagram, I did kind of draw on a uh, metal energy. A uh, Pikachu Christmas card. Um, I'll put a picture of that at the end so you can see and you can comment if you like it or not i don't know i think it's okay i think the feet are a little weird and maybe the, the ear possibly so i figure if i drew it behind the energy symbol i don't have to draw very much of it so you don't have to be pained with my drawing so i did kind of do a few other Eevee illusions that I tried, though I hadn't really finished that yet. And I did have something else, that because one of my cards was damaged at the very top, and I didn't really want to, couldn't bother to try and sell a damaged card, so I just cut that bit off and just cut bits, and so put the rest of it in black. And I'm just waiting for my white pen to come in the post, because I need a white pen. For some reason, I don't have a white pen. Why don't I have a white pen? Okay. Well, I'm rambling a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. It's been a very quiet day for me. That's probably why. Because I don't think I ate anything to do with sugar today yet. Did I? I mean, I might have had chocolate last night, but I would have burned off by, the, by then. Um, yes. The next um, shadow video will be the 30th, I believe. So that will be a Happy New Year one. So this one is a Merry Christmas one. Not that it's very Christmassy, but yes. Okay. Um. Yes, I'm shutting up now. So, sorry if you. Uh, I I will be very surprised if many of you probably are still here with my rambling because rambling is very 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 useless really. But now you can see that I totally don't have a script because I'm not going to remember what I just said probably in the last five minutes. Or 10 minutes. So, thank you everybody for watching and listening to my rambling and who knows what else. So, just a brief, brief thing. I'll tell you my upload schedule so you can look forward to something if you want to look forward to anything. On the 17th, there will be a coin opening. It's kind of Christmassy. It's a guardian angel keepsake coin. And I bought that since... Well, it looked pretty, and also because, well, the proceeds, some of the proceeds go to charity, so I thought I might as well buy that. I mean, it was only like seven-something pounds. <clears throat> okay, the 19th. Oh, this is what I remember now. Some of the days, I put out two videos. Not all days I will, because I need the videos to actually, you know, keep on posting things. So, how I think about it now, every day that I post... It will, the first video will always be at 9 a.m. GMT. The second video will be at 1.30 p.m. GMT. So, you know, so I can space it out a bit. Give people a break of listening to me. <laughs> um, yes, that's what I'm saying. The 19th is the Wednesday. Which I do have some sort of blind bag thing for a blind bag Wednesday thing, but it's... It's a packet, and it's stickers, so I don't know. Um, would any of you be interested in watching me opening stickers? I mean, 
they are Harry Potter related. So I don't know if I should do a video on that or not. Because I bought the album and like 46 sticker packets. It cost me like 30 something pounds. But um, and I had to pay mom back because I didn't bring my card with me to the store. But anyway, I don't know if I should do a video of that. If anyone would be interested in a video of that, I don't know. So if anybody is interested, um, just tell me and I'll do a video of it. It'll be like a Wednesday video thing. I'll like open a couple on Wednesday and every other one, every Wednesday after that, maybe. It's like a little mini, mini thing. So if you're interested, do please tell me. It's just something new to open. Like, you know, I don't think I've ever really opened stickers except when it's part of a mystery box, so. Oh, and I am getting a mystery box that, uh, a Christmassy one, hopefully it arrives before Christmas. Though, so it is from the U.S., so I don't know if it will arrive in time. Hopefully it will. Um, it was on Etsy, and, um, the reason I bought it is because when I first looked at it, I, like, I wanted, I, I actually, I wanted, well, obviously I wanted it, I mean, I bought it. But, um, I watched uh, Real Breaking Nate and Leonhardt's videos of them opening it and like i mean the box was covered in like evolution art i mean who'd not want that but um yes i when i did a uh, reply saying that i didn't get one she did ask me like what was my favorite pokemon so maybe she designed the box a little different i don't know or she put something a little different in there but uh yeah i don't know if you are wondering my favorite uh pokemon's are sylveon for a normal one and Entei for the legendaries. I mean, Entei's voice in the movie, Japanese or English, is very lovely. That's like the main reason why I like Entei, actually. Though, yeah, it's like a bit debatable because Cresselia does look really pretty too. And some of the others too. Like Articuno is very pretty. Is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be legendary so technically it's genderless right well i don't well in the game none of them that really have genders anyway and the uh, cosmog is really cute and you know i'm not going to go into that i'm gonna okay stop um back to what i was saying <laughs> um the 19th i totally ramble so much on the 19th of december is the last final video for the Harry Potter Funko Pop advent calendar. So that's the last video opening for that. And on 1.30 there will be some pins that I bought from Pins and Needle on their website. Um, their Instagram thingy has the link to their website, so yeah. And I bought some more pins on the 26th. Nah, not really, but uh, it's, it's uploading on the 26th. Um, some, and it's an actual Marvel p related pin. So that's from Tino Sugar on Etsy. Because, as you know from her, I bought two uh, lots of uh, Sailor Moon ones. And let's see, on the 21st, we have the Yu Yu Advent Calendar Final Opening Part 5, and my second trade slash purchase with MewTube at 1 30. So do check that out. Um, on the 22nd, there will be the Disney Classics, uh, Classic Collections Snow White coin, number five. Because there are six coin slots in the little folder they give you for the, uh, like, little folder, uh, collection number one. So collection number two will have some more, obviously. So, like, they say they'll send out the next collection booklet. I can't remember if it was the booklets are for free or not. But uh, they'll send it out with the next, like, the seventh coin, I think. It escapes me, I'm not really sure. Then on the 24th, Christmas Eve, we'll have a mini Poke Haul video number seven. Because I needed something to put in that slot. Let's see, I still have one thing to wait for. For Poke Hall number eight, so that will be for a while. And um, obviously, the twenty fifth is an actual video day. Is it an actual video day? I'm not really sure now. But anyway, on twenty fifth, it's a what I got for Christmas video. 
I'm not sure how long that will be because I'll probably will be busy. Though my main Christmas present is a hard drive, so I might not have very much this year. Not that I might. And, um... Let's see, there's 28th and 29th I have blank, so I might put in the Pokeball tin and the Quickball tin in those ones. But we shall see. I do have some other videos that are still waiting to be done. Like, well, I mean uploaded, I mean they are done. So like there's Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Warriors packs, part 1 to 5, which I still have to upload. Shining Legends booster packs. Openings part three, number three and number four, because I've already uploaded part one and two with filler episodes. I don't have actual Pokemon pack filler episodes, numbers four to thirty. So, I do have quite a few in stock, of uh, video wise, but we shall see. Um. Yes. Now that it's past the 30 minute mark, I'm sure you are all sleeping by now. Which I wouldn't blame you, I'd sleep too. So anyway, <clears throat> I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and get what you want or get your friends what you want. And you know, I think one of the main popular things for Christmas presents is if you do it like for your sister, you get something you want, but that, like if you wanted a DVD. If you wanted to watch a DVD, and they wanted to watch a DVD, you get them, and so then you both can watch it together. That's a win-win, very, very, uh, funny reason. Oh, I can't really think of a proper word, but funny comes to mind. But not a proper Christmas present, uh, reason for getting them something like that. But there we go. I have done that once. Or a few times, possibly. And, um... Yes. So, that is it. Okay, I'm not going to talk about anything else. I'm going to put my foot down, though I'm certainly currently sitting on the bed, so I don't really, I can't really reach the floor with my foot. Anyway, okay. Rambling aside, thank you for watching and listening, mainly listening, and thank you for not falling asleep or having a nice dose, or you can you know, obviously just listen to this while you're doing something else. I mean, you don't have to watch the screen. I need to remember to put the videos in at the end. Please tell me I put them in at the end, because if I didn't, I would have talked about them for no reason. Yet, I mean, not them, there's only one video. Oh man, I'm still rambling. <clears throat> like and subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Over and out. Finally. This is how you wrap something fragile in these huge bubble, air bubble things. This is ridiculous, I thought. You know, I'd show you anyway because it's, it's amusing only because it's ridiculous. But yeah. Just a roll of air bubbles with some post-its so it don't actually stick on the actual thing inside. I figured it's, it's amusing, so I thought I might as well share it. <laughs> anyway, so that's how you wrap something like this. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Oh, here are some Pokemon Online uh, game codes for free from the newsletter. Have at it.